And of course, there's also discussions with your teammate. Does your car do the same as mine? Opposition, McLaren, Benetton, Ferrari. They were the main opposition in 1993, and they'll be the main opposition in 1994. And of course, the big question then, will Alain Prost be in the Formula One car? More about that later on. to Denis Chiffre, his Renault engine engineer, and he's going to do one more lap for him, because they want to check a couple of things. And this is what you see in the pits, whatever the engine's doing, they get a lot of information back in the pits regarding engine revs, temperature, speed fuel consumption, all the vital things. And then there's time between the untimed session in the morning and then there's the official qualifying session. It's from 1 to 2, you've got 60 minutes and 12 laps to do it in. The mechanics and engineers getting the car ready and then it's those vital last minutes or maybe another vital pole position. After qualifying, it's all the hard work that's gone into Friday, Saturday and also Sunday morning. And then it's up to Sunday afternoon. Another long, hard race and there are 16 again this year and there were 16 last year. Thank <laughs> you. 
pas. Vous n'avez pas été mauvais quand même. Non, non, j'ai été. Je, je dois dire, c'est le dernier <rire> cours, c'était à 100 fois. Ouais, c'était hein. juste le dernier tour. Et c est, c est, avec le règlement des 12 tours, c'est pas évident parce que c'était ça ou rien. Quoi. Mais euh, moi, j'ai eu beaucoup de, 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 de trafic. Ouais, on a regardé tous les temps intermédiaires, ils ouais. étaient tous bons. Ouais, Sur ouais. chaque section, vous avez ouais. fait mieux que tout le monde. Enfin, ouais. Non, c'était un bon tour. De temps en temps, paisible. Bon tour. Hein ouais. pas, paisible Pas paisible, non. non. <rire> pas paisible. Pas paisible. Non. Sunday morning, before the warm up, and Alain Prost gets dressed. Simplement, un peu de pression. Ça va C'est difficile parce que. Première course, c'est beaucoup d'inconnus. De... Ouais, ouais, ouais. C'est un peu difficile à gérer. Après, quand la saison est partie, on connaît bien la voiture, les pneus, ouais, 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 ouais. C'est la première fois avec les pneus étroits en plus. Ouais. C'est chaud. Ouais. C'est pas trop difficile à juger. Bon. Allez, hein. C'est le, le départ, il donne un peu de pression. Ça part à droite ou à gauche Et c'est Alain Prost, le premier Grand Prix pour Williams. And it's in South Africa. He's taken pole position from Ayrton Senna, but it's Senna who leads away at the start. In front of Damon Hill and then Alain Prost. Second corner, Damon spins. Schumacher grabs second place and Prost is back into third. But not before long, it's Alain Prost who takes first place away from Ayrton Senna. Damon Hill doesn't have a very good debut for Williams in a Grand Prix. He crashes with Alessandro Zanardi. Finally, Alain Prost wins his Grand Prix, Ayrton Senna finishes second, and Mark Blundell... For me, it's a bit of a liberation, because I think it was a weekend, maybe, with the same pressure when we play a champion of the world. It's a bit of the same, because everyone is looking at me, there's a lot of pressure on my shoulders. The champagne rain turned into real rain in South Africa, and by the time we got to Brazil, it was a wet race. Cross and Hill on the front row, but then it started to rain, and in the wet, Ayrton Senna is always something special. And Jean Alesi, always spectacular. Tire stops and Alain Prost, well, he aquaplaned into Christian Fittipaldi's minority and that let Ayrton Senna win his home Grand Prix. It's a deception, but I think it's just to try to pass out and to pass out now to the next one. Damon Hill finished second and Schumacher third. And then Donington, another wet Grand Prix. And again, Ayrton Senna was in a class of his own. The Williams team making a lot of pit stops and not all of them went right. Again, it was Damon Hill finishing second to Ayrton Senna. Prost finally finishing in third place after being delayed in this pit stop. Because of this victory, Ayrton Senna was now 12 points in front of Alain Prost. Same instead of being instead of first. winning. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So anyway, and the, and the wrong guy wins again. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, the wrong guy becomes the right guy this year, David. So it's Imola then. Next stop on the calendar. And again, pole position for Alain Prost. Damon Hill alongside. And again, it's Damon who makes the best start. The track slippery, let's say damp, but not wet. Damon Hill leads. Ooh, misses his breaking point here. And after Damon Hill retires, it's Ayrton Senna leading Alain Prost. And it's not easy to overtake Senna. But finally, Prost comes past and takes a victory in the San Marino Grand Prix at Imola. Schumacher second and Brundle third. And then it's all smiles. Il y a encore une belle victoire parce que je crois que ça n'a pas été une course très facile. Il y avait Senna qui était quand même derrière et il y a eu beaucoup d'embûches sur la piste avec beaucoup de gens à doubler dans un trafic épouvantable. And that's talking about Barcelona, where Alain Prost again wins the Grand Prix. But Damon Hill retired while he was very close indeed. Tu vois, quand j'ai passé des mondes, c'était bien. Oui. Regarde qu'elle était fantastique la voiture, mais j'ai l'impression derrière, derrière c'est très difficile de rester, tu vois. Oui. J'ai passé, je pense que ça va aller. Et là, c'est mis à sauter, mais d'une manière incroyable. C'était absolument détruit physiquement. Détruit. Soit pas comme ça, comme ça. Surtout, dès que tu rentres dans le virage, elle saute comme ça. Tout le temps. And then it's Monaco. Alain Prost on pole position, but the start of the Monaco Grand Prix, 78 laps around the streets. Well, was a controversial one. Did he or did he not jump the start? Well, according to the stewards, he did. So Prost got a stop and go penalty. Watch for yourself and be your own judge. That was how much Alain Prost moved. And then he got that stop and go penalty. Handed the lead over to Michael Schumacher, who retired. And Schumacher handed it over to Ayrton Senna, who won in front of Hill, a lazy, and Prost finished fourth in the end. départ exactement au bon, au bon moment si tu veux c'est je pense pas l'avoir volé en plus euh, là, je sais pas je ne veux rien dire tu vois tellement ça m'a two months later history would repeat itself when Prost got another stop and go penalty by the time we got to Hockenheim
but this time Alain Prost got a 10 second penalty for trying to avoid the spinning Ligier of Martin Brundle. This time however Lady Luck run with Prost when Damon Hill retired on the last lap when a rear tyre blew. Before Hockenheim, we had the Canadian Grand Prix, Grand Prix Magnicor, and a Grand Prix in Silverstone. All of those were won by Alain Prost on his way to his fourth title. Damon Hill finished third in Canada. Uh, congratulations, lovely. I hear you're driving very steadily. Use no fuel again. Use no revs again. We all fell asleep again. Congratulations. Meilleur temps toutes les séances d'essai. Victoire, reprend la reprend la tête du championnat. C'est là, ne finit pas. Enfin, c'est merci mon Dieu quoi. French Grand Prix. Damon Hill was leading. But after the pit stops, it was Alain Prost. Hill finished a close second. Then, of course, could he win the British Grand Prix? That's the question. And in Silverson, we saw Alain Prost and Ayrton Senna battle away for second place. Damon Hill was long gone. Prost went past Senna and then went past Damon Hill. A blown engine and a very disappointed Damon Hill. So that's his 50th Grand Prix victory, well on his way to his fourth title. We all know about Germany and then we went to Hungary. Damon Hill. Exactly. The first one for Damon Hill. Schumacher retired, Senna retired and Alan Prost finished a long way back. But in Spa, everybody finished. And again, Damon Hill won a Grand Prix. His second Grand Prix, and his second in succession. And then of course Monza. Where Alain, well for Spa, where uh, Renault of course won the, and Williams won the Constructors' Championship. And a 50th victory for a Renault engine. And then we go to Monza. Alain Prost could win the World Championship here if he won the Grand Prix. And it all looked good for him. Damon got held up on the first corner by Ayrton Senna. Strong car, says Williams. But then Lady Luck rode with Damon Hill in Monza. Five laps before the end of the race. And it all looked to be Alain Prost, the world champion, until it went up in smoke. And a hat-trick for Damon Hill. 
c'est le pire qui puisse arriver, quoi. pas de points. Et bon, ça ne remet pas en cause le championnat, bien entendu, mais ça repousse de 15 jours, c'est pas très, pas très très bon. Quoi. Well, Portugal then. Damon Hill had to start off the back, and we saw Mika Hakkinen challenging for the lead, but forgot to look in his left mirror. And round the outside came Jean Alesi, who was leading a Grand Prix for Ferrari. Michael Schumacher drove a brilliant race to win his second Grand Prix, but Alain Prost's second place gave him the World Championship. Also, Alain Prost in Estoril said he was going to retire from Formula One. But by the time this program goes to air, it's more a case of will he or won't he drive the McLaren Peugeot in 1994. Well, that was then. 199 Grand Prix at the end of the year, 52 victories for World Champions. Uh, World Championships for Alain Prost. Je pense un peu à, ma, à toute ma carrière, quoi, mes 20 ans de, de compétition, c'est un peu l'aboutissement. Mais l'aboutissement, c'est aussi ensemble euh, de s'être retrouvé euh, 10 ans après, d'avoir pu réussir ce que, ce qu'en sport on ne réussit jamais. C'est de se retrouver 10 ans, 10 ans après de, et de, de faire ce qu'on n'avait pas pu faire euh, en 83. C'est une belle, une belle revanche. Je suis vraiment très content, en plus de finir euh, ma carrière comme ça et avec vous. The last two Grand Prix in 1993 were won by Ayrton Senna in the McLaren. Next year, of course, he will drive for Williams Renault. We're going to take a short break and then we're back with some new cars for the 1994 Formula One season. Mm -hmm. 